So I did something. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Legendary EA. And in this episode of my Baltimore Bullets, my GM, my league, we will be simming to the end of the season. So 20 games in, we are 6 and 14. And I really don't want to waste y'all's time on this series. I want this series to be really, really fun. And I don't see a point in, you know, tanking and show you and showing you guys all these videos. So, in this episode, we will be simming through the season, going through the offseason, like the NBA draft, free agency, and all that. And then, in the episode after this, we will be doing season number two, season opener. But if you guys have been enjoying this, you guys, please make sure to go ahead and slap that like button. Show some love on the channel. Because this episode, is, it's going to be lit. It's going to be hella lit. So, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure to go ahead and leave that like. And also, please subscribe. But let's get into it. So starting this off, we didn't want to, you know, make this trade for Jordan Clarkson. I thought that this was excellent. I mean, we're, we're, we're going to be picking up Jordan Clarkson, who is a young talent. He's like 24 years old. Even though we get Jose, that's not even a terrible fix. Next up, we will be making this trade right here, picking up Doug McDermott and a first-round pick. And then Pat Bev and some young players in the first-round pick. So heading into next year's draft, we have three first-round picks. So let's start simming. Oh, I'm a G. All this cash on me. I got a bag on me. Yeah. Money bags on me. All these racks on me. All this cash on me. And after season number one, Kevin Durant does win the MVP. Ben Simmons rookie of the year. Regardless of anything, you guys, we have first, we have three first round picks heading into this draft. Somehow Spencer Halls of the Kansas City Knights is sixth man of the year. Y'all, I don't I don't know what, what was going on, but these Kansas City Knights, they were balling. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Look at their seed. So actually, they actually did make the playoffs, y'all. And they, with this roster, with this roster, they made the playoffs, man. This this shit is crazy. Obviously, we had the third worst worst record in the NBA. But yo, they managed to slide in there as the eighth seed. What's going on, 2K? How does this team make the playoffs with that roster? But let's just see how they will be doing in the playoffs. We were in points by Jordan Clarkson. And I know this episode's kind of all over the place, but I do just want to get this thing through and start next season because I do plan on targeting James. I do plan on targeting Lonzo Ball, if possible. Jordan Clarkson had a great season for us. He was an all-star. But look at this. The Kansas City Knights make it to the NBA Finals, and they lose in seven. Yo, 2K, how does that happen? But other than that, yo, we are projected to get the number two overall pick. But let's hope that we can do it because, you know, we might get holding it, but hopefully we don't. And in the end, we do walk away with the fourth pick. Hopefully, Lonzo Ball, Josh Jackson, Mark Hill, folks, one of those guys are there. We obviously are not, we will not be targeting Harry Giles because they just told us not to. But yo, let, let's hop into this draft and let's see who we can get. So, Kemba Walker and a first was traded for the number one overall pick. Miami just kind of finessed him right there. But let's see. Who are they going to take? Who are they going to take? Who are they going to take? Don't take him. So, Mark Hill, folks, does go number one. Number two, let's see who goes right here. Come on. I want Lonzo Ball, though. So, we are going to see if we can find a trade for Lonzo Ball. And in the end, we actually kind of find a trade right here. Ish Smith, Chianu, and the fourth round pick for Lonzo Ball. Yo, Lonzo has some great playmaking stats. His three-point shot is okay. His development and potential is okay. And I think that he's a game changer. He has great handles. He's 6'6". Yo. I can't pass on this man with that number two overall pick. Now, we, we could have picked up somebody like Josh Jackson or Dennis Smith. But I think that Lonzo Ball is too much of a game changer. So, we're going to take Lonzo Ball, make that trade, and we pick him up. In college at UCLA... He was putting up numbers, and he's doing the same thing in real life. So let me know if you guys like that pick. He's a 77 overall. But, yo, let me know if you guys enjoyed my pick in the comment section below. We have two more picks left, 15 assists, 20 points. Yo, at UCLA, he was a beast. So next, it was the 27th overall pick. Yeah, we have we have some lower picks now. I wish that we, we would have had another lottery one. But with this pick, we do pick up Miles Bridge from Michigan State, a great defensive small forward. And we would make this trade, picking up the 28th pick also, because we don't need that 29th pick. We might, we might as well trade away Ed Davis. And with this pick, let's see who we are going to go ahead and take. I do need to power forward really badly. Nigel Hayes were there, but we went ahead and we took my boy, Tyler Lydon. And I think that he, he can actually help us out. He does have a three-point shot. So Lonzo Ball was the lowest overall out of everybody in the top four. But I think that we're going to be okay. I think he's going to do great for us, but let's just see. Hopefully, he's not going to be a bust. But other than that, we're heading into team options. We will only be bringing back Yusuf. Everybody else can go ahead and walk. 
we really don't need them and after day one of free agency we do pick up Sergi Baca this team I do want this team to, to be young but I also want to surrender will get some great players so having a defensive front of Nerlens and Serge is going to help us out as we make another trade right there. But those two in our front court is going to be lethal. And now this easy old trade, picking up a bunch of first round picks. But this is our roster, you guys, and everybody is developing. I believe, yeah, uh, Bogdanovich is the oldest one, and he's 28. And like I said before, we will be adding in the, the Pittsburgh Force because somebody in the comment section did recommend for that to happen. But y'all. Yeah, the rebuilds will be returning tomorrow so if you guys are, if you guys are just here for the rebuilds and stuff those videos will be coming back tomorrow i'm probably going to be alternating it every other day will be a baltimore bullets episode but look at this right here y'all our team for next season for what well, for this season is looking amazing right here we got lonzo ball at the point guard jordan clarkson at shooting guard bojo on the small four surge at power forward and nerdland at center and off that you got brandon jennings Dion waiters yusuf nurtic doug mcdermott jerry and grant Harry, henry ellison the team is really, really good. So let me know y'all's opinion on my roster. I think this is a very realistic team. It's not super overpowered. And taking a look at Lonzo Ball, hopefully he can be that game changer for us. Yeah, we're just going to make him a point guard only. We don't need him to even play him at shooting guard any other time. But, yo, just let me know what you guys think about our team. I think this is a very realistic team, like I said before. It's very balanced. Sergi Baca can knock down threes. Yo, his three-point shots is like a C-, minus, and I can work with that. He has a nice mid-range shot. He's great on defense, Serge Ibaka. Then we have Nerlens Noel at center. This team is looking nice right now. And honestly, the only weakness in our starting lineup is going to be Bojan. And now they are saying that we are buying. They say that we can possibly become become contenders. So that's interesting. Even though I don't see it, they are saying that we could be contenders. So let's see how this team works out. But Because hopefully, we can win the NBA championship. So here's Lonzo Bar. He did struggle a lot in this first practice but hopefully he will get his shit together for that season opener. because in the season opener we will be taking on the golden state warriors and he's getting his shit smacked but like i said before y'all we will be taking on the golden state warriors in the season opener and that's not going to be an easy game hopefully well i guess that this is kind of a test to see if they can possibly win the championship but that's definitely not going to be a team that we could possibly beat i'm, I'm not gonna lie beating that team is almost damn near impossible but right now, the team is playing well. But like I said before, y'all, Lonzo Ball is the only one really struggling. He's not getting in his shots. All of his shots are off. His Even his jumpers are way off. But other than that, y'all, in the end, we do go ahead. And let's see. Easy rebound for my boy, Bo John. Passing it off to Jordan Clarkson. And like I said, Lonzo Ball missed a whole bunch of shots. But Jordan Clarkson closes this, this entire game off. But this is our Ross. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you guys did like I said before, y'all, make sure you go ahead and slap that like button in the opening when we're playing Golden State. And hopefully we don't get blown out because, you know, I'm going to need Lonzo Ball to dominate in his debut.